Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to your uh, bonus energy check-in for Virgo. This is going to be for your uh, rest of your December. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, we're just going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the rest of the December. And then we'll finish off the race to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this for your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following uh, following me <coughs> on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is in the description box below. Do all the YouTube stuff on there too. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on there, you guys. All right, so Virgo. Tell about Virgo. Energy check-in for Virgo. Overall energies for Virgo for the uh, rest of their December for Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. What else do we have? What do we have here for Virgo? What do we have here for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Looking good, Virgo. That's you right there. And the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seems like you guys are doing really well financially here. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely making big plans for yourself. Maybe you have big plans for 2024. Maybe you're trying to top 2023 here. Maybe you guys had a really great year when it comes to your finances and your career and you feel like you guys are trying to top that or for uh, have new goals for yourself here, okay? So uh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Star card here, Aquarius Energy. And the Three of Wands here. You guys are definitely looking towards the future here. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely maybe realizing that, you know, Whatever you're doing right now, it's your life purpose. It could be that you've achieved all that you can in your work situation and you're pursuing your life purpose here with the star card, okay? Some of you guys are realizing that your potential here, realizing your gifts here, okay? So I feel like some of you guys are realizing that you guys are light workers yourself, okay? Or that you guys just like to help and give, give back to others here. Okay, with the Ten of Cups here in the world. So I feel like what, what's happening is I feel like you guys are definitely... Achieving bliss, happiness here. Achieving your goals here. Okay, like I said, I feel like you guys are, are, are trying to top 2023. Okay, going into 2024. Tell me the Nine of Pentacles here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? And we have the Six of Cups. There could be someone from your past that's trying to reconnect with you. You might be missing someone. Someone here could be missing you. Or that you could be having nostalgia about the past here. And maybe, you know, you're looking back and seeing how far you've come. Yeah. Um, the uh, star card. The star card and four of wands. Okay. Three of wands. Um, this is so interesting. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this is very a very specific message for somebody. Someone here works with homes. Someone here could be like a really famous like real estate agent or a really famous like interior designer here. I do feel like someone here is definitely getting a lot of recognition for the work that they're doing here. But with the Ten of Wands here, I feel like a lot of you guys are really burnt out. It could be a situation with the two tens here that maybe you've achieved everything that you could in this like career and you're looking to transition to something else. Maybe some of you guys are looking to retire. I don't know, but there's definitely some sort of ending that's happening here. We have the Ten of Cups here and the Ace of Swords and the World card here and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like you guys are definitely burnt out in the work that you do here or that, you know, it could be a situation that you guys are tired of getting the attention here or tired of, you know, a lot of attention being direct towards you here. Okay, so, you know, I feel like you guys feel like maybe you guys don't have privacy or something like that because of that. So maybe you guys are looking to transition out of this. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on for the uh, rest of their December for Virgo? For Virgo.
Okay, Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there could be someone coming back from the past. Whoever this is, this is an individual that broke your heart. But, you know, one of the things I'm feeling like you're just shining brighter than ever. You know, perhaps you're realizing that you did you don't need this person from the past here. You know, and I feel like you're doing really well on your own. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Someone here could be coming back around to fight for this connection here. Or that it could be an indication that you've achieved so much on your own that you don't need this person. Yeah. Or that you're drawing the line or that you're keeping your firm boundaries with this person that's trying to come back. We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Four of Cups. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this person's coming back around because they're bored. They have nothing to do. Yeah, they got nothing to do here. I just feel like this person's just bored. Yeah, this person's just bored here. Seems like this person has come back a couple of times. Seems like this person is definitely obsessed with you here. I mean, you definitely have like eyes on you, you know? Uh, you know, but in a positive way, positive recognition here. But I do feel like someone here is definitely like, I wouldn't say that they're giving you the stink eye, but more so that they're just obsessed with you, um, eyeing you. Maybe they have something with their eyes where I feel like when you look into this person's eyes, you know, I feel like this person could control you sort of thing. Yeah, there's something with this person's eyes. I feel like when you look into their eyes, it's kind of like, ha, ha, I got you. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person does have the ability to do that. And I, I also feel like this person is not aware that they could do that. Okay, so uh, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is definitely trying to come back here. Yeah, someone here is definitely trying to come back here. Uh, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here. And then I'm not surprised. I mean, we are in Mercury Retrograde. I mean, there's going to be a couple of more weeks until Mercury Retrograde ends. And obviously, you know, there's a post-shadow phase too. So, you know, I, I'm just not surprised that someone from the past is coming back or that past issues are coming up for, you know, the collective. Okay. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Two of Cups. Some of you are definitely coming back around to rekindle this relationship here. Okay. But like I said, I feel like, um, you know, Virgo, a lot of you guys are definitely not going for it because I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, really succeeding at your in life right now. And I feel like you guys are trying to enjoy this without this person trying to ruin it for you. Uh, two of Pentacles here. It could be the reason why that this person is coming back because I feel like you're getting a lot of recognition. I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely in the public eye here. If you guys are not in the public eye, you just... You guys are definitely getting just the recognition for the work that you're doing here. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles here, and the Four of Cups here, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like you're just focusing on new beginnings here, <clears throat> moving forward. You know, I feel like you have a lot of new ideas that you want to pursue here. You know, like I said, I feel like you guys definitely, like, in 2024, you're definitely going to try and top 2023 here because like I feel like you definitely have new goals in, in, in mind you know you definitely have new ideas that you want to uh, pursue here okay so ace of cups here and the ace of wands so you're definitely manifesting a new beginning here for yourself I mean sometimes that ace of cups could be a representation of new love or a passionate new beginning in love or something like that or that you have new ideas uh, that you're passionate about that's emotionally fulfilling here for you you know I just feel like you're definitely putting yourself first here um, yeah, I do feel like there's someone here that's coming back around. This person has been very, 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 very selfish. And I feel like this person is definitely in this energy of like, it's all about them here. But, you know, perhaps, like I said, you know, the, so, sometimes the Five of Swords, the way I see it in certain readings, you know, depending on the read, depending on the energy that's coming up, is someone that's putting themselves first. Okay, so... Yeah, and I feel like you're going to do that or that you're, you're going to continue to do that, okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.